is one stick of a cigarette. Looks very harmless, right? But this guy, this little guy, takes more than a hundred thousand lives per year in our country. Can you imagine? Why? Why do we do it? Why, why do we smoke? Why can't we quit? I feel that you know the answer. It's because there's something called nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive substance. But do you know how addictive nicotine is? Nicotine is as addictive as heroin or cocaine. And heroin and cocaine, they're both illegal, right? Ironically, is smoking illegal? It's readily available everywhere, anywhere you go. It's available. Wow, what a surprise. Sometimes when I talk to smokers and I try to lecture them, they come to me and with pride they say, you know what, leave me alone. So why? Because I contribute to, to the country. I pay tax. I pay so much. What do you do? Just leave me alone. Okay, all right. Uh, do you really contribute to the GDP? Do you really contribute to the society? Let me tell you something. In 2017-2018 fiscal year, our government earned more than 22,000 crore taka in revenue from tobacco sector. Wow, amazing. But we skip the part. You know how much economic losses happen? It's caused due to smoking related issues and secondhand smoking. The economic loss is over 30,000 crore. So you tell me, is it net positive or net negative? So no bro, you're not helping the society. You're harming yourself as well as the society. So anyways, I'm here to tell you my story. Why I have never, ever smoked a cigarette, ever. Now, don't get me wrong. Oftentimes I feel tempted. Because cigarette has this symbolism, this symbolism of you're no more your mama's boy. You're grown up, you're an adult, right? You can do whatever you want. That's the symbol that cigarettes represent or symbolizes. And I was attracted sometimes. I actually wanted, but I didn't. For some reasons. There are a few reasons. One of the reasons why I call it, I named it. It's called, I, I gave it the name. I call it No Sticks Streak. Streak, because I took it from, you know, Snapchat, you know, you streak with other people, you send. Pictures every single day without any purpose, and it goes on and on. But I did it in my, you know, real life as a meeting. I mean, it sounded cooler in my head. Uh, you know, never mind. Anyways, this no stick streak. It all started a long, long time ago, when I was only four years old. It started with two people. The story involves two people: me and my mother. When I was little, my mother made sure that I was scared of two things. Number one, ghosts. I was scared of ghosts. I was very scared of ghosts. Number two, cigarettes. She made sure that I was scared, that I was repulsed, I was disgusted by cigarettes. When I was four years old, who smokes at four years old? It didn't make sense to me. I didn't even feel the urge, but Starting when I was only four years old, she would tell me consistently the negative implication, the consequences that you feel face if you start smoking when I was only four years old. Now she would also give me, she would also give me some prophecies. Very interesting. I felt very interest, interesting. She would tell me that listen, Nafis, now you're only you're very young. I was I was pretty, I was young, when I was growing up, she would say 
when, you're, when you become a teenager, there will come a time when you face something. And it's called peer pressure. Okay, interesting. All right. So you tell me there will be a time when your friends will offer you, persuade you, convince you to smoke. They will even give you some gifts. Hey, you can smoke up. You don't have to pay me. You know, it's fine. I was thrilled. It felt like a movie. Oh, this is going to happen to me? Wow. Is it really? I just, many of you nodding your head. Interesting. Anyways, so my mother used to tell me a few more things. She would tell me that Nafis, all it takes is one puff. This one puff, if you take one puff, it's gonna it's gonna take you, it's gonna lead to thousand puffs. So don't even dare to start it. Don't even dare to start it. So I was like. Is she, is she lying? What, what, what is she doing? But she was right. A lot of my friends who started very casually, hey, I'm never going to be a chain smoker. I'm never going to, you know, it's, it, cigarettes don't control me. I control them. None of them could quit. None of them. To this day, everyone is a smoker. Everyone who started casually, all of them still smokes. I said, like, okay, that's interesting. So, what I did is that I made this my life's mission. No sticks strict. It's a very sacred mission for me. So I was on this mission. Never gonna smoke. It's a strict that I'm, I'm doing. So when I was growing up, I was, you know, I was 20 years old. I would tell myself that, look, Nafis, you're 20 years old. And I, whenever I felt that urge, that, you know, just one time, let me just try it one time. What's the harm? Everyone does it. What's the harm? So I told myself, look, you are on a streak. Imagine 20 years. You're, you're not smoking for 20 years. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you feel bad that if you don't, if you started smoking, you're going to break the streak? How would you feel? Yeah, that's true. So I, so that's why I kept on this streak. So, what I realized is that all it takes is actually one puff. Now, my friends, they would disagree. They would completely disagree. Like, no, 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 it, don't worry about it. But you know, actually, even if you are a first-time smoker, like let's say you, are, you want to try smoking, you want to go for it, many times you feel uncomfortable even when it's your first time. So there is a misconception that, okay, I, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna have that nicotine withdrawal. The surprising thing is that even if you smoke for the first time, even if you feel uncomfortable, you will feel that nicotine withdrawal. And you will, even though you might think that I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna have that craving, you are going to go, you're going to have a craving and you're going to go for the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And it goes on and on and on. So, if you are a parent, my advice is make sure your kids are scared of cigarettes. Just like you scared them of ghosts. I was so repulsed and disgusted with cigarettes, it was in my conscious mind and it was in my subconscious mind that even I cannot tolerate the smell of cigarettes. And if you are someone who's thinking or you might ever feel arch, it's your first time and you're, you're there, like you're thinking that, should I go for it? Should I? Just give it a shot. Remember that this one puff will not be your one, one and only time or one puff only. This one puff will lead to thousand more puffs.